All right, what's up, guys? Uh, new video today. We're going to go short, talk about a few different tickers, a few of my favorite setups for the rest of this week, and also go over QQQ before we jump into those. So let's get into it. Um, QQQ right here on the daily chart has been set it up nicely for a push higher, and um, we've been waiting for that to happen for the past couple of weeks. But here we are today on Wednesday. May 10th, 2023, and we are currently breaking over 323, which was a big resistance. This doesn't mean that this is the actual start breakout. Um, we're not 100 percent confirming that this is going to push higher, but this is a good start right here. Um, we still have Thursday and Friday, and um, yeah, so RSI is starting to not make that higher high ever since uh we're making that higher high on the daily chart right here. But our size is our size failing to make that higher high. So we need some comp we need some uh, more confidence by more volume or from more volume and a strong push higher over that 323. All we need is that little bit more volume and I can feel more confident that we'll push higher. But so far, technical analysis wise, it looks great. Um as long as 323 holds, we will start pushing higher towards 328 area. By the end of this week, 328 to 328.65 on the daily chart right here on QQQ, which is going to be the top of the wedge right here. It's this large wedge right here. So bullish QQQ for the next for the rest of this week, basically. Next two days, bullish. Now we're going to jump in my three favorite setups for the rest of this week. Next up is Netflix. Um, Squeeze is setting up. This is this is a typical very bullish setup that we've seen back in 2020. This this has always worked out. I haven't seen a setup like this in a long time. Um, so our size picking up, uh, rising or uh, falling wedge breakout so far. We did have an attempted break yesterday. We failed today. We dipped and buyers came back all the way back over here above 334.60 as support it used to be resistance but currently now support um rsi is starting to pick up and also a little bit concerning is the volume but this tell me this tells me that the move has not started yet and um i just don't think many people are eyeing this setup right now but right now this setup is pretty bullish to me i like the way it is right now i do believe that this can pop higher towards 343 to 340 ish area by the end of this week on Netflix daily chart. We're also currently breaking out of this small range right here. This is the range that we finally broke today. And uh, bulls overall setup, uh, squeeze setting up. If we do end up breaking this 343 area, we can also push higher towards that 349. And that will be a triple top possible area. Triple top resistance area, and then we can come back down, pull back, pull back to um any of this SMAs right here, which will be ended up uh, over here in this area sometime in the future, and then bounce and try for 368 to 370 area. But right now, we're not going to worry about that. We're just going to focus on holding that 334.60 and then try to get four 343 by the end of this week. Um, Pretty simple setup. Bullish. I like this one. Next up is Microsoft. This one does have a continuation pattern on daily chart. We are currently holding well. We, we've been in tight range for, uh, for over a week on Microsoft between 303 and 311. Today we broke higher with some volume picking up again. Our size looking good. Momentum is still strong. This still has some room to 315 before I believe that this can pull back um, or some... Um, some breather and then come back up to 323 area, which is a long term resistance on Microsoft. Um, but pay attention to 315 on Microsoft, that could be a good, a great area to go long on puts. I would say a few weeks out, maybe to a month, just depending on how um strong reversal reversal is on Microsoft. But right now, above 311 is bullish for 315. We'll see how 315 goes. For 323, if 315 fails and rejects, we can see a pullback back towards 311, maybe 310 or 303, sorry. And then we'll bounce back up in 323 in the future. Um, 
This one looks good. It's strong. It's leading tech right now. We're pushing higher uh, the way it is right now. Next up, or last one, is Amazon. This is my favorite setup currently. We've had a strong move um, for the last couple of weeks. Or, yeah, the last couple of weeks. Um, Short-term SMAs are starting to pick up right here and possibly cross the SMA 200 right here on a daily chart. We've had multiple failed um, attempts of squeeze firing, but this is another attempt right here. Our side is picking up. Volume is picking up right here. We're breaking out over the SME 200, and we do have a supply zone test coming up at 114. So I do believe Amazon does have room for, for the rest of this week before we pull back for a triple top setup and then start pushing higher in the future for 120 area. You can see how we have a uh, multi-touch um, right here at 114 area. That will be my target for calls if we do end up touching that area. And if you do want to look into puts for a couple weeks out, if we have a rejection at 114, go for it. Do your due diligence and see how it goes. Um, but I do like the way Amazon looks right now, just the way that it looks perfectly fine right now on Daily chart above SME 200, strong breakout, volume picking up, squeeze setting up again, and the RSI is also picking up. And we do have a supply zone, next supply zone at 114. So we do have about another 3% move right there on Amazon. And I like the way it is right now. Those are my three favorite tickers on tech right now for the rest of this week. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, any suggestions on... Um, different takers, please let me know. I'll see you guys next video. Thank you for watching.